Good afternoon. I don't have my cameraman here to give me my little thumbs up to tell me when I'm live. So I had to do it myself. I miss him. But anyways, I am Laurie Rothwell and we're back to do some drawing and watercoloring today. Um, this has been so much fun. I was just thinking that I have, um, you're getting like a two for one right now. So you also are getting your weather report because you can just look at my hair. You can tell it's like humid out, like no raining, I guess. It's very soft rain because I haven't heard it, but everything. Anyways, my hair gets bigger and bigger and bigger the, as the humidity goes up. So now you know what the weather's like today. Anyways, I'm going to hop over and we're going to do fish today. So this is kind of sort of our last daily live, although we haven't gone daily um, completely the last two weeks. But um, this is our, we're winding down to the end of this as I was um, trying to just offer something for you guys to have for you, your kids, or whoever to do for some art therapy or a heart therapy while we're all at home. Um, thought it would be helpful for kids. I know how much kids like to be creative. And so I just has, I've offered this for you guys. So much fun doing it. I'm not saying I'm not gonna ever do it again, but as we work into a new routine with summertime coming up on us and not the routine of school, um, I'll just kind of find a new rhythm for um, coming live with you guys and doing art with you. It's I have fallen in love with doing art this way, so don't think that this is gonna be it forever. But in the meantime, there is countless numbers of videos on my Facebook page, and I'm uploading them slowly to my YouTube channel. So you'll have two places you can access these videos, and you'll be able to just go through, pick out whichever ones you want to do. If you haven't done them all, man, I think anybody that's done all of them should get a huge prize. So if you have done all of them, or when you do all of them, let me know. That would be awesome to find out if anybody has really done. I know that some of you have done quite a few of these. So anyways, I'm going to jump over to my chair so we can do um, some fish today. It's sad because Caden's not here. I was going to, oh, I can, Ariana, if you're on here. I'm going to, hang on here. So my oldest daughter, I'm trying not to talk loud because I'm up by my phone. My oldest daughter has my grandkids and Caden staying the night and I told her, let's see if we can bring them up. So Ariana, if you're, oh, I see. Sorry, it's covered up by my stand. I'm trying to see, hang on here. It's gonna jiggle a minute. Seeing if I can, oh, that just shows my viewers. That doesn't show that I can add you. Never mind. I thought there was a way I could add a guest on here, but I don't believe that I can. So anyways, well, we'll figure this out another time. All right, so I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna draw together. Yep. All right, say hello if you're on here. Oh, hey, Lori, Jason, Kenzie, I'm glad you're ready to go. You guys have been taking some time off. Um, anyways, oh, pieces of my art is here. Ariana, that's funny, you're commenting as pieces of my art. Ariana, my daughter, is um, an admin on my page, although she's busy with a lot of things that she has going on. Um, I wish that I could, hey Sheila, I was hoping to be able to pick, um, do a guest artist. <laughs> oh well, pieces of my art, thank you for commenting, that's funny, that's okay, don't worry about it. It's funny because I saw your name and it shows that Ariana's viewing, or you join, that's really funny. We have so many things to learn about, oh there you are, we have so how to use live 
I just wish I could add enough invite friends to watch. That doesn't work. All right. Well, we'll go on. We'll figure out this. Hi, Caitlin, Nathan, and Caden. If you guys are painting or drawing with me, um, have Ariana um, put your picture in the comments. So we're going to do fish. All right. So, anyways. All right. This will be fun, just like all of them are fun. I haven't done a painting that wasn't fun ever. The only kind of painting that's not fun is when you're painting your house. I'm having to do the trim. I used to like to paint walls, but I don't even really like doing that. Trim is the worst. All right, so we're gonna do some fish with this one. These are not gonna be any particular kind of fish, so you can just kind of make them be what they are. So I have my watercolor paper and I have my mixing set of watercolors that I love from Crayola, even though there's paint all over the lid. Um, it's a mixing set so it doesn't have all the colors that you would normally get in a pan of Crayola paints. But these are ones you just mix together. There's something so rewarding about making your own colors and so that's what I've been doing. So we're going to do this with a Sharpie and we're going to paint it in. Now, if you prefer to draw with a pencil, um, the reason we do Sharpie is for the benefit of kids and maybe fearful adults is to teach or help you guys um, be fearless when it comes to drawing and not feel like you have to erase stuff. So one thing when kids first learn to draw, it's good to just encourage their drawing ability and not um, teach them that they need to erase everything because then things become more difficult as they get older when it comes to drawing and, and painting. They just feel like everything's all wrong and they have to change everything. And so I want to just build the confidence when they're young and not feeling like you have to erase stuff. So that's why I use the Sharpie. Plus it does well with watercolor. It doesn't bleed when it gets wet. So that makes it really nice. All right, so let's go with our fish. We're gonna do three fish. So we're gonna have one in the middle and one at the top and the bottom. I'm gonna start in the middle so I get my placement right. So I just wanna find the middle of my paper and then I'm going to make um, just a big curvy shape. So there's the point. That's where my little fish, my little fish lips will be. And then I'm gonna close that in. So it's like a triangle with rounded sides. All right, so now we're going to make the body. So we're just gonna come this way and curve down towards the middle and come this way and curve up towards the middle. And then we're gonna do a little fish tail. So I have it curve up, looks like an acorn. Okay, so my tail, I'm gonna come up and I'm going to curve down and then I want to make a curve in and out to a point and in and out to a point. And then I want a fin up here at the top so I'm just going to do a little bit of a fin. Like I said these aren't going to be any particular kind of fin or fin, a fish, they're just for fun. All right, so I'm going to make the eye, so I'm going to make a circle, pretty good sized circle, not quite the size of a penny, and I'm going to color it in with a black dot, so that way this, the dark part of the eye is already on there. All right, I want to do the little side fin before I put some scales on this, so I'm going to just come out from there, just make a little side fin. All right, I'm getting ready to seize, sneeze, excuse, not seize, see, sneeze. I can't even talk today, goodness sakes. Excuse me if I do, maybe it'll go away. All right, so we're gonna do the, the scales. So we're gonna just make, um, we're gonna curve out to a point and we're gonna curve back in. And then we'll curve out to a point and we'll curve back in. I'm ignoring where my little fin is. I'm gonna visualize where that line would go there and where it would come back out. So it probably will kind of be hidden behind there. Okay, so now that's the first row of fins. So the next row, I wanna go in between this row. Curve out. So 
So I'm just repeating a new row every time in between the last row. All right, now we can do a couple little lines in the tail. And if you want some lines in the fan up top here. And I still feel like I'm gonna sneeze here in a minute. All right, so there's fish number one. So let's do, let's come down here and I'm gonna make this fish go in the other way, a different direction. So I'm gonna just make a different style of fish. So I'm gonna make the same start with the, the heads pointing towards the right. So I'm gonna make my V going this way a V that's slightly curved on each side. And then I'm gonna close that in. And then I'm just gonna make a longer, narrower body. Close the tail end of that. Then we can just make some Round, little round fins on the back. They look like little um, flippers. All right, so we want a fin on the top of the body. And then let's do a couple little fins down here. And this eye won't be quite as big because we don't have as much space, but I'm going to do a circle and I'm going to do a black. Man, I got a um, sorry, I got a cramp in my shoulder, the way I'm sitting or something. All right, so now this one I'm just going to do stripes down the body. Fish number two. Okay, so we've got one more fish to do up here. All right. So we're going to come up here. Let's do the line that separates the head from the body first. So we're going to just do a line right there. And then we're going to make the V. I did it a little backwards from what we did before. Make the V. So there's where our fish face is. Put my eye, my fish eye, and the black circle in it. Now you guys can make, um, you can make lips on it or a mouth or whatever you want to do. Okay, so this fish is going to be kind of close to this one below it. So let's kind of. Let's see, I don't want it real wide because I've got one more thing I want to add over here and I don't want to run out of room. All right, so I'm going to come out about where the head of this one is. And I want it to, so this is going to be a rounder fish than the other ones. All right, so I'm going to make the fin come up here. It's kind of fun. All the different shapes that fish can be. I don't think it really matters. Oh, Kaden and I, we were watching on one of his assignments um, with science, and it was showing predator and prey and stuff like that. And there was a fish, and I don't remember what it was called, Ariana. If Kaden remembers, type it in the kind of fish it was. Um, it was, But it had its home in an empty shell, kind of like a hermit crab would, but it was a fish. I'm going to make this fin going down like this. Not touching this one down here. If it did, it would be okay. But anyways, so this fish was, um, it would hide in the shell, and then it had to, de it would have to defend its area, its territory, and there was an octopus that came. He says he forgot. Of course, because school's out. That's why he can't remember. But anyways, it would, um, an octopus came by, and then another fish, just like whatever it was, came in and the way that its head was like the lizards or the dinosaur that have the the neck fan thing around them and it would flare up 
and they would fight each other. So it was like the fish neck was like a big cape and it would go up over its head and they would like touch each other on the front. It was really fascinating. I never seen a fish like that. But anyway, I don't remember what they were. All right, so I'm make, now I'm making my tell for this one. Kind of like a moon, a moon shape here. All right, so now I'm gonna make these stripes going this way. Now, if you did this in pencil, then you would watercolor it, and I would leave a little bit of a gap with the watercolors so that there's a space in the middle that kind of shows the lines. And, um, all right, um, now I do stripes like this. Uh, and then some stripes on this fin and this fin. All right, now this is what I wanted to do. So my, I titled this Gone Fishing. So I'm going to make a string, a fishing line, and a little hook. Um, I don't wanna make a hook yet. Let's see if we can make a worm. I thought this would be cute. So before we make the hook line, let's draw a worm with a head that's fairly big. And I was like, oh no. However you guys, let's see, well, this is where you can get creative on wrapping this worm around this hook. We're going to pretend it didn't get jabbed with it, right? Worm tail coming around. All right. Well, that'll work. Well, now he's got this end needs to attach on. It's like he had two tails. All right, that's good enough. Um, so let's do, we're going to do a little comic book here. He's going to say, help. All right, or maybe he could say, eat hot dogs, not worms. I don't know. And the fish should be saying help too, because they should be saying help to us, so we're not eating them, huh? Okay, so let's paint. Hi, Carrie, painting fish, endless, yes. Are you painting fish with this endless possibility color? Absolutely. All right, so this is where the fun goes. So you guys can do whatever colors you want and um, I should clean my lid off. I wonder if I have, no it's messy under there. All right, I wanted to have space to mix some color but I really don't. Let's come over here with my purple. I want a pretty blue color but it has green in it too. More of a jewel tone blue. So maybe a little bit more of the turquoise blue. There we go. Well, I'm not even sure. But we'll do it like this. Okay. On this one that we painted the fish scales, I want to paint each of these individually. You could just paint all the way over it if you wanted to. But I'm going to paint it individually. And I'm doing the outside V that when we drew it, it's the outside V that we drew. Okay, before I get to, well, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. I'm doing it pretty quick. Take my turquoise. 
plugs and put it in the middle. And just let those colors run together. I did not get do it wet on wet. I, I mean, it's still wet, but it wasn't like I got it wet first. So it's not going to blend as much, but I can add some water to it if I want it to do that. So we'll see. Maybe once I add all this blue on here, I may want to do that. Just getting my brush wet and I'm going to dab water in all the blank places and that way it just kind of does its thing again it'll just blend together however it does this makes me think of mermaid scales all right now for a new color, let's go ahead and make the head the same color. Let me get it wet first. I'm going to try to stay out of the eye. So it's wet and it's got the purple in it. I'm going to add more purple and let it flower out or do its blossoms. You could use your brush and add, I mean it's going to dry, it'll spread out, but it'll add a texture to it if you want. All right. Now I'm going to do yellow for the fins. I'm going to try not to touch my purple and my blue. Try to keep it away so that way my fins don't turn. This yellow is not very bright because it's kind of dirty. It's my green. See what happens when you mix your colors. Um, you got to make sure you clean the paint cakes out good before they dry in there because then that color stays in there that you put was on your brush maybe. I don't mix them in that but my brush is dirty so now my, my yellow is a little greenish tint to it. Not as pure yellow as I would like it to be. It's a good contrast of color, the yellow with the blue and the purple. They complement each other. Okay, there's fish number one. All right, so let's come, let's see, let's come down here and do this guy. I'll do that. No, let me go to the top because if I go to the bottom, then I'll be dragging my arm through all of this. So. I'm going to do wet on wet with this one. I've got too much water already. I'm putting my red orange that I just moved out from where you can't see now. Denny, I'm painting. You can come up and say hello, but I'm painting and you do have food in your bowl. I can see it. So don't try to tell me you don't. Caitlin, are you painting fish with cocoa today? 
Did Ariana find you anything to do this with? I'm talking to my granddaughter, Caitlin. She's painted with us before. So I'm just alternating pinks and oranges in this. My red violet and my orange, red orange. I think from here today, I'm going out of my studio. She is, all right, Caitlin. I'm going out of my studio and I'm going to come up with some paintings for classes in the studio. I, it's, I need to get out there and paint. So be watching my events because I'll have some new stuff posted for you for June. Caitlin, what color are your fish? I did spots on his face. It's a orange spotted pinky fish. All right, let's see. A good color for contrast for this one. Let's see. What are you doing? Don't you be scratching my furniture. Sorry, I'm talking to the cat. He's desperate for me to feed him, even though he has food in his bowl. I don't understand it. He's got, and he has to be on a special diet. And so the food's rather expensive. And he just always wants fresh food on it. Stop. Eat your food. You got food over there. You eat it. No, eat your food. trying to decide what color I want on the end of this and I don't want I probably need to make let's turn this to blue here let's do like a navy blue on this one Oh, you're making yours pink, brown, and peach. Well, that's going to be beautiful, sis. All right, so now I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to try to do different shades of green. I just love green. Green is like life. So, since I don't have green, I'm going to start with my turquoise color. I'm going to outline both the top and the bottom of this one with this turquoise. So I got them all wet first. I'm taking my turquoise. Guess who's eating his food? You realize, well, I'm not giving in, so I guess I would better eat what's here. So as I pull this turquoise into this yellow, I'm just going to turn it green. a pink towel on this one. 
red and violet. Caden, if you're listening from Ariana's house, Bear is sad and he misses you and he wonders where you are today. All right. Okay, so let's paint our little worm. Does not have to be a traditional color. So I'm going to paint, well, let me use a little worm brush. It should be easier. I'm going to paint my little worm orange. So now, the fun of filling in around it. So I'm not gonna touch my fish. So I'm just getting, clean my brush off a little bit so it doesn't have paint in it. So I'm just gonna get water up close to my fish, but I don't wanna touch them because if I touch them, all that's gonna like open the gateway for all the water to just come and bleed and just blend in. And I don't really want that to happen for this. Usually I do different colors, but let's just stay with this color today. This is the cleanest fishing hole ever with nice, pretty blue water. Let's get, wait, whoopsie, there goes that tail. Pink right in it, because I touched it. Kind of cool. You could add salt for texture to this, and when the salt dries, you gotta put it on when it's wet, but when it dries, it soaks up, the salt will soak up some of the color and it leaves a cool texture on it, so you can do that. Or um, you could lay, remember when we did saran wrap and you laid saran wrap on it? I don't know if you did that. Um, but that made a really cool watery looking texture. So that's a fun way to do it, especially if your fish are dry and then you can lay that on there, but you gotta leave it on to dry because if you do it before it's dry, then, then it's, um, it won't make the texture you want. much color you want going all around. Look, my worm totally like touched the blue. You just never know what you're going to get. Fun. I can't wait to see yours. 
So make sure you share it. Post it in the comments once you get it done. And I'm going to let you finish up. And I'm going to go out into the studio. And I'm going to paint. Get ready for some, um, some classes in the studio. So anyways, thanks for hanging out, you guys. This has been so much fun. I will do more painting with you live, so I can totally see my hair in the video. I guess I've had really big hair today. It's humid out, you guys. I'm telling you, just look at me, and you'll have your weather report and your painting class all wrapped up together. Um, but anyways, if I had a piece of... I think I threw it away. If I had a piece of saran wrap, so you can lie saran wrap or even bubble wrap, lay it on there and let it dry and then lift it up and it makes a really cool texture. So those are some different things that you can do to add texture to your painting, to your water. Um, but anyways, enjoy your weekend and happy Memorial Day. So hope we get some time to be outside. I know tomorrow's supposed to be nice and then I think we have rain in the forecast. Imagine that. So anyways, I think I wish that we could go to the movies because on a rainy day when you're off, going to a movie, the movies would be something I would like to go do. And yes, we watch movies at home and we'll plan that. And my husband's all for it. He likes watching movies, but in the evening time, he lasts about 20 minutes and then, he, then he's asleep. So that's no fun because I like to share and watch the movie with him. Not always. He has worked hard these last week, two weeks, because he's been jackhammering out for an elevator shaft in a school in a solid rock. And so he's exhausted. Hard working man. So thankful for him. So anyways, you guys have a blessed weekend. Be safe. And I will see you again. Maybe if I can turn this off. I mean, I will see you again. <laughs>